Hi right, guys, this is the Niche Site Guru, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your FTP files using FileZilla. Now, backing up your FTP files is an important part of having a site. Um, if you ever need to make any changes, any PHP code changes, or anything like that, you can um, take the files that you already have backed up, edit them, and then check them in your browser before you actually upload them to your server. So, let me show you how to actually open all this up and get what you need done. We'll start from the beginning here. Okay, so this is actually the site that I'm going to back up. This is one of my niche sites. I did the video on this one the last time. Uh, this is the one that I just put the SEO service on three months ago. It's ranking really, really well. But what we want to do is back up the files. So, first off, you need FileZilla downloaded on your computer. It's an easy download. You can go to um, FileZilla, uh, just type that into the browser and the first thing that comes up um, in the search will be the download. Make sure that it's compatible with ever, whichever system it is that you're running. Um, get that downloaded, run it, and um, you'll also need to know your website's FTP host name, the FTP username, and the FTP password. If you don't ha have those, just ask your hosting provider and they'll be able to give you any of the information that you need. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your start menu and go to my documents. You can just type it in like I'm doing right here to open it up. Okay, we got the my documents file opened up. Now normally I already have one here uh, to set this file up, but normally all you have to do is right click, come here to new folder and you would install or um, name it the same thing as whatever your uh, website is but seeing as though I don't need this I'm going to delete that back out of there okay so once you have it named you're going to need to um, open up FileZilla and you should just be able to well whenever you actually download FileZilla just make a shortcut to the uh, desktop which I have here you'll need to open it up uh, with the icon right here and if you can't find it, just go to C colon program files and look up FileZilla and you'll be able to find that. So we've got FileZilla opened and to transfer files from your server to, to the computer, you'll need to tell it where the files can be found. This is done by entering your FTP account info into FileZilla Site Manager. Now you can open the Site Manager by going to File, Site Manager, and I already have a lot of this uh, info listed in, though I'll talk to you about it. Um, now you're going to need to rename the new site. Well, you have to come down here and click new site, and then it would open up right here. And you want to enter the same name that you put over here. So, All right, get that entered in. And once you have that entered in, locate that. Come over here, whatever your uh, where it says host, you're going to want to put in the same name right there. Keep the port box empty. Under protocol, make sure that it's under FTP, file transfer protocol. On logon type, it will normally say anonymous when you first come in, but you're going to want to go to normal. Alright, and once you have that done, you're going to want to go to, let's see, the user box, enter FTP username, and that's the same thing I was talking about earlier, make sure that you have that from your hosting provider, I already have my FTP username entered in, whatever the passcode is that you set up, go ahead and uh, put that passcode in right here, this is connecting FileZilla to whatever server it is that you have it on, whether it's through GoDaddy or HostGator or whatever, um, I generally go with GoDaddy, uh, just like their interface, but this will connect FileZilla to that. So enter in your passcode, passcode as well, click OK, and now we're ready to get started. So under host right here, once again, enter in the name of the website. All right, and then under username, whatever the username is that you uh, set up, Whenever you initially set up the website is what you're going to put in right here. And 
and then also your passcode that you set up. All right, now we're going to do quick connect. Now, if everything's right, it'll all be green right here, and everything should be going into the right file. Okay, now once you have everything um, downloaded right here, we're going to go to reopen the site manager. Click the advanced tab and click browse to find the file you set up earlier. Mine is under new. My documents. High school graduation party ideas.net. Okay. It's okay that. making sure I have it in the right spot here alright now once you have everything put in all you need to do is hold down shift and go through and check every one of these boxes A little monotonous I know just make sure you have everything transferred over all right now that we have everything You could just select it and hit Control A to select all. Now we're going to download this and it should all go into high school graduation party ideas.net. Okay, so now that the transfer has completed, um, everything should be correct. And to check that it is, now when we open this folder, we see that we have all of the content that we had on our FDP um, hosted account. So now that we have this, let's back it up. And not only will I have this stored on my computer, I am going to send this as a compressed um, file to my flash drive. Give that just a second. All right, so we have it as a zip. I'm going to save this as zip as well. Okay, now let's take that and send to, oh crap, didn't mean to do that. Send to travel drive. close that out didn't need to do that so need to make sure that it's in my travel drive now so let's open that up and there we have it alright that is it and if you get a chance head on over to my website nichesiteguru.blogspot.com and check out some of the other videos that I've made for any help and if you have any suggestions just let me know